Hey everybody, it's Gregor with the Friday Forge, and this week we're making Epoxy River Lazy Susan. Let me fly towards my hands, towards my Brigham and I have always been looking to go bigger and better with our work. And after the Epoxy River serving tray, we decided to make a Lazy Susan. But it had to stand out, and a solid wood piece was just not going to cut it. We followed Jeff Mack design and we saw that he had some olive wood that would fit an 18 inch mold that we had just purchased from him recently. The good thing about his olive wood is that it was already kiln dried and ready to take epoxy. Massive shout out to Cam from Blacktail Studio about recommending this wire wheel. It is a game changer for cleaning up live edge. We did our best to get the volume that was needed for this epoxy, but in the end it was just a ballpark. On top of the Cordovan transtint dye that we added to the epoxy, we also added a pearl white mica powder, so I'm swirling the epoxy to make for a better exothermic reaction. We took it to get plain from our friends over at Raw Lumber Company. They were nice enough to let us rent out their 20 inch jet planer. While at RAW, we decided to buy a Live Edge Mesquite slab for a project coming up later this year, so be on the lookout for that. If you live in Arizona, this is the place to shop. Look no further, 10 for 10 would recommend. This is where things started to get scary for me. We used our Glowforge to make a 17 and 3 quarter inch template so that we could flush trim bit. I had the confidence in the router it was just the thin plywood that I was more worried about, but it ended up doing a great job in the end. Mm -hmm. 
Unlike most people, this is where the project gets fun for me. I love to sand. You can just plug in music and have at it. We had a lot of tear out from planing. Now that was no fault from the planer that we used at RAW. I just think this epoxy acted more like end grain wood. This clip here was shot about two months after we took it to RAW Lumber Company. I was worried about this finished product. I didn't know whether or not I wanted to use CA glue or flood coat with epoxy. I decided to go with the CA glue and I'm really glad I did. Rub on and buff off. You can't go wrong with Odie's oil. Attaching the hardware of the Lazy Susan was beyond easy. Just three screws is all it took. I'll leave the link in the description for this one. I think for our first try, this actually came out really well. Quite pleased with the results. Please let us know how we can improve or if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.